So in this video we're going to talk about how to create basic animation in Maya. So um, on the um, page where the video is you should see a file that you can link for this little spaceship uh, model. It's very simple. We're not worried about any details. Just going to use it to um, attach keyframes to and make it move around the scene. So if you want to download that, it's an MB file and uh, you can bring it into um, into Maya uh, to play with. So um, also we want to set some settings up in here to make sure we're working on the same um, animation um, settings. So first of all, down below we want to make sure we've got the timeline open, which is the one here with all the numbers going across and the playback controls on the right side and then underneath that is the range slider. This controls how much of the timeline you can see at one time. So the outer numbers will take you from the beginning of the timeline to the very end, whatever that number is. So if I want 300 frames I can type 300 in here. And then the inner two numbers, this one and this one, indicate how much of that timeline you actually see up here. So right now you see it only goes up to 120. If I want to go the entire amount, I can just type in the full 300 here, and now I have the entire timeline going across. So that's how you zoom in and out. Now if you don't see these two on here, just go up to Windows and go down to Settings Preferences, and you can go to Preferences and if you select UI elements you'll see here the time slider and the range slider just make those make sure those are turned on and then hit save okay and then um, one other thing here um, I shouldn't have taken that down so we'll go back to Windows settings preferences and preferences and um, we want to go into um, settings about halfway down that list and I'm working with the Y up, Y axis up, and the linear working unit set to centimeters. And for the time, I'm going to change that to 30 just for this. So we can make sure we're on the same um, frames per second. So this means it's going to run through, the, the animation is going to run through at 30 frames per second. And uh, I'll go ahead and hit save. And um, we don't have anything going on here yet, but you notice when I changed from 24 se uh, frames per second to 30, it put some 0.25s in there, which is kind of weird. You don't need that, so let's just make sure that's an even one on both those. And uh, we should be good. I'll reset this to 300. I don't think we're going to use 300, but we'll go ahead and put that in there. Um, so just how this works, right here on the timeline we have a playhead and you can move that scrub the playhead back and forth you could also type in the exact um, frame number that you want to use let's say 50 and it'll move the playhead to that keyframe um, we've got it set to 30 frames per second which means that if we have 300 frames that's going to be th uh, 10 seconds worth of animation so this playhead would be going across here at 30 frames per second and um, and that's where we kind of figure out what amount of time we need for the animation. Alright, so let's jump right in here and start um, putting some keyframes in. So I'm going to select this object and um, I'm going to make sure my, key, my playhead is set to frame 1 and I'm going to start off by just hitting S on the key f keyboard and that will set your first keyframe. So when you do that you'll see a little red line show up on, on the timeline here and in the channel, uh, channel box you should see um, red going all the way down all through the channels here indicating that they all have a, um, a keyframe for that. So basically what we just did was we told Maya that we want this object to be at this location right here on frame one. Okay, so now let's let's move um, the playhead out and let's just go one full second to frame 30. And then I'm going to move the object. So let's lift the object up off the ground. And you want to move it roughly kind of idea is you know we're out one second so here how far do you want this to go in one second that's about you know where you want that to go so when you've got it positioned where you want it mine's at 
um, 7.26 in the y-axis. Hit S on the keyboard and now we've keyframed it to be at that location 30 frames into the animation. Alright, so let's take a look at what's going on here. Uh, we, can, we can go back to the timeline and let's just scrub it with the mouse and see what that movement looks like. So you can see here and now I'm just scrubbing it with my hand, so I don't know that this is exactly what it's going to look like because um, we're, we're setting it up to render at 30 frames per second. So it could be a little bit different, but we're at least getting an idea of what's going on here so you can see the movement that's taking place. Okay, so let's say that we want to keep moving this around the scene a little bit. Um, let's, let's say that we want to keep this object hovering at this height for one full second. So I'm going to move the playhead out to frame 60, which would be two seconds total, but one second further. And I'm going to hit S again without changing the location of the spaceship. So now it moves up between 0 and 30, and then it stays for one more second to 60. And now let's go ahead and move this someplace else. So I'm going to go out maybe another, just I'll just go every second here. And I'm going to move this over to the side and maybe up a little bit. And I'll keyframe that. And then we'll move the timeline again. You always move the timeline first and then you move the object. Otherwise, uh, it'll end up resetting your timeline. So we'll go back up. Let's move it around. Keyframe that. And then I'm probably just going to leave it there for just a little bit. So I'll go to 150, which would be 30 more frames. Keyframe it again. Go to 180. We'll move it down. Keyframe it. And I'll just keep doing that. I'm going to go out to, um, let's see, 180 would be 220. And then 250. We'll let it come up. And then I'm going to bring it over. And what I want to do is make this land at the same spot that it was when it took off. So what we can do is we can go back to frame 1 and come up here and see what the actual translate X, Y, Z and rotates and everything were. So the only thing I need to do really is make sure that my translate Y is set to 0.919 and everything else is 0. So if we go over here to frame 280 Let's just type that number in. So it was 0 0.0919. Oh, maybe that went that wrong. Let me redo that. 0.919. So we'll go to 280. 0.919. And then make sure everything else is set to 0. And that looks good. So I'll keyframe it right here. Oops. Ah, I've got my input box up here <laughs> updated or selected, so it's just putting an S in there. So we need to get out of that. Let's retype that. 0.919, 0. Get out of it so that it's not selected. Then we can keyframe it right after. Okay, now hit S, and we've got that in there. Um, so now you can see that it's moving around the scene, and then it lands in the exact same location. So I'm going to keyframe it one more time at frame 300, so hit S, and I'll keep it there. So it lands with about a one second pause, and then it'll take off again. So let's go ahead and save that. And once you have it saved, we can um, go ahead and just kind of scrub the playhead again just to see if it works correctly. 
Um, and notice, you know, I didn't keep all the movements exactly the same. All my keyframes are spaced evenly apart, but um, some of the movements I made it go further and sometimes shorter distances, so that changes the speed up a little bit. It's not quite so mechanical and uh, boring looking. So we'll leave it at this, and let's do a quick uh, play of the playhead over here. So click on the little play arrow, and you can see what we've got. And it looks like a very quick mess. So stop that. And what we need to do is tell it how to play the animation back so we can see it at the actual 30 frames per second. So we could go back up to Windows, Settings, Preferences, and Preferences, or if you're in here, you can click on um, the little window here, the little red person and the gear next to it. It's Animation Preferences. It basically takes you to your Preferences window. And the time slider option. So under playback, let's change the playback speed to the 30 FPS times 1. And that will play it back at normal 30 frames per second. So hit save. And now when we hit play, it should play it at the actual rate. And there we go. And then you can hit stop when you're done playing it. So that's the basics of creating your keyframes. Um, in the next video, we'll look at the graph editor, how we can control those keyframes, and we'll add some more movement to the spaceship.